So I now want to go through the steps of aligning the Michelson interferometer so you can get a good fringe pattern. Uh, so the first thing to note is, uh, let's see here, I'm going to, well first you can see it, right now I have a decent fringe pattern and if I move this micrometer, uh, I can see the rings going in and out. So I, let's talk about how do you get to the point where you can see that. Um, the starting place is to remove this lens and I even like to loosen and rotate the beam splitter out of the way. Be careful whenever you're touching these lenses or mirrors or beam splitters not to touch the optical surfaces. So you never want to touch the glass, you always want to be just touching the frame. So I'm going to rotate this out of the way. The laser is going through, hitting this mirror and then just going right back. I can look at the surface of the laser and I can make sure that that reflection is such that the light's going right back on itself. If this is tilted, okay, now it goes through, hits the mirror, and instead of going back on itself, I can see the laser all the way off to the side. So I know I'm not hitting the mirror uh, normal to the surface. So the two things I wanna do here is first, I wanna be uh, hitting the center of I want to see the laser light hitting the center of the mirror here and I want it to be reflecting back on itself. All right. So next, now that we have the laser going through reflecting back on itself, I can bring in this beam splitter. And I want to just roughly align the beam splitter so that my sets of dots uh, are close together. So let me get ready to lock it in when I find a good spot. So there's our dots and that's pretty good. All right. The final thing to do is to adjust the tip tilt of this mirror so that the dots are as close as you can to be overlapped as possible. And when they're as close as overlapped as possible, you'll begin to see them flicker because you're getting interference. All right, now the beam is aligned, I can add back my lens And uh, I get a really nice ring pattern that I can see over on the, uh, uh, it's easier to see here uh, on the card, but I get this nice ring pattern. And if I move my micrometer, the ring pattern changes as you would expect. All right, and that's how you align the Michelson interferometer setup.